A new Mace Windu lightsaber for 2021? Let's take a look. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and today we've got a Mace Windu Star Wars lightsaber forge by Hasbro lightsaber. Now this new lightsaber forge series is a new set of lightsabers. Oh yeah. But they're compatible with the old blade builders. Interesting thing, they don't really sell you any adapters to make them compatible, but if you have any of those old adapters from the blade builders days you've held on to your collection, then you can use those with this. This line of toys is compatible on the bottom of the lightsabers, all of them on the bottom, with those adapters and can be connected to other blade builder lightsabers. Or other lightsaber forge lightsabers so pretty cool new system they've got going now i will point out that they are not compatible on the tops of the lightsabers like this attachment that would attach to the top or the uh, cross guard you can't really do that anymore those won't work with the new ones but 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 they will work with each other you can do them with the little adapter ones the small ones you can use these crazy spinner things all of it will work as long as it goes through the bottom. Now with that said, let's take a look at the bottom of the box of this Mace Windu lightsaber. All right, we've got our Star Wars logo, Mace Windu. You can feel that through the box there. Should come apart pretty easily or get out of the box once we get this thing open. Some cool Mace Windu artwork, a la Clone Wars. Now with these non-electronic lightsabers, it's not supposed to be his exact lightsaber. It's supposed to be more like his style. Match his colors of his clothing, kind of evoke Evoke what his character was, not what his lightsaber is. So let's make that clear right off the bat. Star Wars Lightsaber Forge. I love that logo. I think it's really cool. Ages 4 and up by Hasbro. Those are the pieces you can mix and match with other pieces. They show the Obi-Wan. You can get a cool look. Something a little bit different. Something unique. You can customize it. You can create new crazy versions. There's a lot of the cool combos you can make master. Thousands of combinations. Zero to three sad babies approved. I almost dropped it. This is almost an official video already. My goodness. <laughs> there we go. There's another look at it. All the normal stuff. For those of you who want to look this up on BrickSeek, give it a try. There's your barcode number right there. And then last, let's take a look at the bottom of the box. And there's Master Windu looking through that sketch. Of course, the artwork bleeds over a little bit. Let's get this bad boy open. <clears throat> no, I do not mean that. I mean bad boy. I don't care what Mr. Jackson says or has engraved on his lightsaber. Thank you very much. And I thank you to keep this channel family friendly for the most part. These droids. These droids are a handful. All right, let's get this little bit open, kids. If you're gonna use an exacto, parents, if you're gonna use an exacto, yeah, be careful with it. Don't be a moose milker. Oh, baby. Okay. Open that. I got some, some safety papers on the bottom. Little instruction. I could do undo the ties on the bottom. But for me, that was just taking too dang long. Okay. No more Blade of Exact Zero until we get to that dark saber over there. I know a lot of you are probably like, let's see the dark saber. Let's see the dark saber. Well, I'm doing it last. All right. I'm going to make you wait for it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the little instruction booklet. There we go, Star Wars, Mace Windu, Lightsaber Forge. And it's going to basically go over these instructions. Boop, get out of here. On how to assemble it. The cover, cap, I'm sorry, cap goes over the blade, which then attaches to the cover, which can be oriented either way. You can flip it 180 degrees, still works. And then the core goes into the bottom of the cover, whichever bottom you're using. There it is, boop, right there. And then to take it apart, it does the same thing. You push the button and it'll release. You can untwist everything and it'll all come apart. Or you can flick and then push down to make that all work. Boom, pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, I do want you guys to see the close-ups here. This is the core. Now the core for all of them has been very similar. There are different sculpts, of course. This is one to look like Mace, but they all have like a fake kyber crystal in the top. While the electronic ones have a real kyber crystal, you should watch my review on the Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker lightsaber for that. Um, this is the cap, the very top. Very cool looking, I like that. I think that looks neat. I like the symbol there. Very, very cool. Ooh, and I like this, because you can see the blade through it when it's on. That'll be neat. 
All right, so we've got... Ooh, I like that a lot. Kind of like his armor on his arm. His, like, uh, little arm guards. I don't know what you call them, sorry. My bad, I'm not an armor expert. But I like the feel of this and the gold, of course. He always has a little bit of gold on his lightsaber. Though this is more like the character. I like that. I like that a lot. That is, that is a cool looking sleeve. And again, you can orient it however you want. You can have it this way, or you can have it this way. Whichever orientation you feel like. And then we've got our blade, our purple blade, which will not go down lower than that. If you want to use it without the blade, you can. You can just put the three pieces together and it's fine. But if you want the blade to extend, it's going to stick out. And it just is what it is. All right, now that said, let's go ahead and take this, plop that in there. Put that, well, uh, should we match the armor with the armor? No. Let's get a little more balance. Get a little more variation. Ooh, I like that. And then the core should just find its way right in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? I like that. I think that's cool. I think that's really cool. Again, the button works. I've explained this in all the other videos. Should I still explain it now? No, I think I should make him go watch the other videos in case they haven't already. Probably did. But the little button inside there. Because the core is not electronic, it doesn't actually touch anything. If I hit that, there's a little piece inside that hits just above this. So it's not electronic it doesn't do anything. And it was the same no matter which way I orient this. So I could take this piece off. I could take this core out. I take this, flip it, do pretty much the same thing. Now it's facing a different way. <laughs> and then I take this. And you're gonna go in there. And so that's a different look with just this one lightsaber. It's non-electronic, you flick to extend. Of course, people always ask about these toys. Is it duel worthy? Can I duel with it? If you're an adult asking that, I think you're crazy. Adults going full force with $20 or $15 in this case, $14.99 plus tax, uh, going crazy with $14 toys. No, they're not gonna last long. A blade like this is gonna get white marks on it. A clear blade, like the electronic ones, is also gonna get those marks on it. Play fighting. If you're kids, if you're over four, probably under 13 or 14, maybe 15, depending on how hard you play, you could damage the blade. It's a plastic toy. It's for play fighting. If you wanna, with your little brother, your sister, mom or dad, or even if you're an adult and you wanna do it, cool. But know that, like, play fighting, you know, you'd, you'd smack them a little bit. Yeah, but you don't want to go full force. You would break this thing. It's plastic. It is a toy. That said, let's, uh, what do we do? You know, I got the purple adapter. For mace. For mace. You know what I was thinking I should do? No, I know, and it's in the, it's in the garage. And I don't know where exactly, and it would take too long, and I want to get these videos recorded and out for you. So I got the first one I could find. This is a different Blade Builders. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll try to link the video above. If not, just look at the playlist for all my Star Wars lightsaber toys, and you will find it eventually. And there's a double-bladed purple lightsaber. You can do this kind of stuff with Blade Builders toys. Oh, man. I have missed playing with Blade Builders. Let's, um, let's get a little weird here real quick. Let's do a weird angle lightsaber using my old Blade Builders attachments. I, for the sake of space, am going to remove this mace. Ooh, purple blade. I almost dropped it. I almost dropped it. Ugh, that is hard to do. Now, normally when these things get stuck, I give them a twist and then they usually plop down. Um, but for the sake of space, because I've opened up all of these so far, I am not going to use the blades, but I will take Ahsoka. There we go. There's a weird lights. I've used most of these attachments so far. There's Ahsoka and Mace put together. I think that looks kind of cool. Or if you want to do something different, we can take the spinning one. Mace. We'll take the Obi-Wan lightsaber forge on the other side. Again, no blade on either one, but. Oh yeah, remember this business? You remember this stuff? Yeah, this stuff still works. The blade builders, accessories and everything. Yeah, 
they all still work. They still work with the lightsaber forge. So cool. So cool. Now you guys may be thinking, Dano, Dano, Dano. How do you feel about this? Is it uh, sad? Is it rad? What's my rating? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? On this mace one, I think it's rad. I think this one's cool. 15 bucks for the non-electronic. I just like the sculpt. I think the sculpt's cool. The color scheme, the black with that kind of creamy brown and the gold accents. But then the white that looks kind of like his armor. I think that does evoke mace. Again, these aren't supposed to be his exact lightsaber. That's not how this works. Pardon me as I try to take this Ahsoka one apart. That is not how this system works. It's not a replica system unless it's the electronic ones. Now the electronic ones, like Luke's lightsaber, and like Vader's lightsaber, and like the uh, Darksaber, they're all supposed to be kind of with somewhat replica E. Again, you can switch the sleeves to work however you wish on these things. It's this quick. <laughs> That's how quick you can swap them and change them out. Again, this lightsaber system is pretty easy to do. Again, they're for play, they're for imagination, they're for having fun. Ooh, can I get it? There we go. That's good. That's good. Boom, you swap them out. These things look cool. We got Mace, we got Ahsoka, we got Obi-Wan, we got Yoda over here. Oh man. I think these are rad. I think Lightsaber Forge is a pretty cool system. So glad that it works with Blade Builders, but I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about Mace Windu? What do you think about these toys as a whole? And yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, don't be a move milker. Be the spark.